season. My entire career as a journalist, I've covered traditional topics. I started off freelancing about music, but I found a home ultimately covering the courts, crime, politics, lots of human interest features. But I had a problem. I had grown up with a family ghost story, a ghost story from my childhood that I always wanted to cover and investigate too, but I felt like I couldn't. The problem isn't that a story like that is odd. Lots of people report paranormal experiences, or experiences they at least take to be paranormal. The problem is that a story like that, for a reporter, is unacceptable. Reporting requires a lot of critical thinking, so by now the thinking would go. I should have found a way to dismiss the family ghost story entirely. The problem is, I couldn't do that either, because I was there, and I knew the people involved. So ultimately, I decided I had to investigate my family's old ghost story and a lot more besides. From ghosts and aliens to psychics, spoon bending, near-death experiences, prayer, dreaming, and more to look not only at what we believe about these subjects, but what we know. My name is Steve Volk, and I've been working as a magazine writer and journalist for 15 years doing long-form narrative nonfiction. And for this book, Fringology, what I found is something we all need to hear now more than ever because too often we divide ourselves up into camps of believers and disbelievers, adherents and skeptics. And ultimately, Fringology offers all of us, whatever our worldview, a place to stand on common ground and a view that renders even the most contentious conflicts in our society unnecessary. Religion and science, spirituality and skepticism, these are often portrayed as opposing forces, opposing worldviews. But what Fringology demonstrates is that not only can science and spirituality coexist, they can serve each other. And the fringe sits right at the heart of what it means to be human.